Hey guys, here's the finished product. We still have like a mess around it we need to clean, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it ended up looking like. So we have our jalapeno plant in the back, poblano in front of that, a tomato plant right here. Those are called celebrity tomatoes, and then these are called beefsteak tomatoes. So they're two different kinds of tomatoes. And then we have our lemon tree here, which is getting some good lemons on there, if you can see. And I tried to get Matt to plant the lemon tree in our yard, but he said that he just doesn't think it's gonna get very big because it was a smaller tree out of the ones we picked out. And he said it just, it takes years for a lemon tree to get big. So we're gonna keep it here for now. If it needs to be relocated, we can always relocate it. And then I have my basil, cilantro, and rosemary. We used organic soil because we're gonna be eating the stuff that's out of this garden. And then we got these little picket fences from Home Depot as well. They were really cheap. I think they're $4 a piece. And then this is just some stone we had left over from our landscaping. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Hey bud. Okay, what do we got going here? Okay, so it looks like this frame part is done. And I think these are the arm pieces, maybe. And then he has some more pieces cut over here. I will link the plans to this, the exact plans we're using down below, just in case you're interested in making one as well, well, or your husband. Um, but honestly, when I looked at the plans, I was like, man, if I, if I knew how to use power tools, I could easily do this. Um, but yeah, I'll keep updating you. All right, so we have the frame done. And the arms. I think it's the perfect size. And I like where it's going to hit the window. Cool, cool. Let me get it from this side because it looks really good when I walk out. It's going to be perfect. Okay, the structure is built. And I'm so happy with the way that it's turning out. Perfect for that little area. So we ordered three bottom cushions. So one, two, three, and then two right here, four, five, four bottom cushions total. And that is just in the process of sanding it. And then we're gonna do a stain on it. And let me show you the stain that we got. We just got it at Home Depot and we're going with this early American color. I usually like a gray wood stain, but I thought, you know, for outdoors, maybe I want to change the pillows one day. Um, then we just decided to go with like a basic pretty brown stain. She is out here drying in the sun. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of my hubby for making it. Um, we do have the cushions over there and I can't wait to show you what it looks like with it on. We're probably gonna get it all put together here soon because she's almost dry. I'm really happy with the color of the stain. I think it's really versatile and it's, it looks so good. I can't wait to show you like our last final backyard tour it's definitely becoming a place that we are really really happy to be in every day matt has a pork loin on the grill it's actually easter sunday right now all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you the after of our patio stuff. Oh shit, shit, shit. Let me set you down, I gotta fix these pillows. So our patio is nice and clean. It's looking like a paradise. We got this little shade hung up up here. You can't really see because the sun. Crap. Yeah, there it is. So all you do is you like crank the shade down. We got one put up on this side as well. And then when you, the hell, oh my God, it's a lizard. Hey buddy, scared the crap out of me. Our pool box is right here and then all of our pool equipment. So it's just kind of, there's another lizard, dang. It's just kind of out of the way and this is where we keep floats. Matt has like the bucket of stuff he has to use for it. And yeah. I definitely like that it's out of the way back here. Look, our roses are starting to bloom too. Actually, pretty much everything is starting to bloom. This is my garden. We have the fire pit right there. But this is my garden. I don't know if you can see, but right there we have a jalapeno. And then I also have tomatoes, some herbs, getting lots of lemons. All those flowers are going to be lemons too. And then last but not least, the outdoor sectional. It turned out so good. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I'm really happy about the stain we chose. We got the pillows. I need to like trim the tags off, but we got the pillows from at home stores. It's really nice because they're doing curbside orders right now. I placed the order for the pillows and they're ready in like two hours. But it's so pretty. Matt did so good. We have sat out here and just watched TV. And it's amazing. It's literally amazing. It's like a little slice of paradise. And then this is kind of like the view from sitting at the couch. It is just bliss. It really is. Oh, and then we also had someone come out and stain our fence and it's literally night and day. It makes the fence look so much better. Um, I don't th I think I have a before clip of it, but it just looked like really washed out awful. Um, so now the fence is stained and we love it. So yeah, guys, we are now officially done with our backyard projects and the backyard is ready for warmer weather. It is literally just a slice of paradise for us. We have people over all the time. We love to host. We love to swim. We just love to be outside and using our time to work on the backyard is just so rewarding to us but yeah i will go ahead and link the plans for the outdoor sectional in the description box below if you like this vlog make sure you give it a thumbs up thank you for watching this one and i'll see you in the next one